Hi, I'm Arthur from Reveltronics. I would like to show you today one wire EEPROM programming with Revelproc IS. Here I have example board from 3D printer with Maxim device. It is DS2433 one wire EEPROM with 64 bit unique identification number. In this case, it stores cartridge configuration for 3D printer. I soldered two wires, data line and ground line. These two wires are enough for communication. Let's start from reading device ID. Run Revelproc application, select tools, read ID, select device type one wire devices. And here we have wiring diagram. As you can see, pin number four in programmer is ground and pin number 5 is data line. Let's connect it. Ground to pin number 4 and data line to pin number 5. Accept voltage and read ID. It read us 8 bytes of identification. Every one wire device has such identification number. It is factory lasered, it is unique and it cannot be changed. You may ask why do I need read it? Let's suppose that you have one master device and many slave devices, which are communicating with master device. These slave devices have different identification number and master device will communicate only with defined serial numbers. If you know this number, which you can read with Revelprog, you can try to find it in master memory and change it for other ID. So it will communicate with new device. OK, now I would like to show you how to connect this device if it does not have lead wires. You can use such clip connected with tape. Let's connect tape to programmer. I have hint for you. Pay attention only to wire numbers, not colors, which may be different. From right side, it is pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. In programmer, at pin number 4 is ground. In device, ground is also at pin number 4. Data line is at pin number 3. In programmer, data line is at pin number 5. So let's connect it. Aha! First, you need to identify pin number 1 in memory. It is marked with small dot. Here you have pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's connect it. Pin number 4 to pin number 4 and pin number 5 to pin number 3 and clamp the clip. It may be tricky in front of camera OK, let's read ID one more time. As you can see, ID is the same and checksum is OK. So read is correct. Now I would like to show you how to read EEPROM error and program with different file. Open memory database and search for device DS2433. Double click, OK, and read memory. Here is another hint. Always make backup. It might save your life. File, save as, and save file as backup. OK. Open different file. OK. And write it to memory. Erasing, programming, verification passed. 
If verification passed, it means that memory has been programmed with success. And last thing I'd like to show you. I disconnect it. We will not need it anymore. What if you have device in different package? For example, I have here free pin TO92 device. It is very popular digital thermometer DS18B20. It is in mass production, so it is very cheap and it is often used only for unique ID, for serial number in device. Pin 1 is ground, pin 2 is data line, and pin 3 is optional power. Let's connect it to programmer. Ground to pin number 4, data line to pin number 5, and will not connect power line, will not need it. One more time, tools, read ID, accept, and read identification. As you can see, ID is different. As I told you, each one wired device has different identification number. Thanks for watching, good luck until next time.